What's up guys, Justin here coming at you with a garage sale pickups video and I believe this is going to be the first garage sale video where I actually have some spy glasses footage to show you guys. So I want to try to keep this pickups portion of our videos a little bit shorter just because with the addition of the spy glasses footage and whatnot, I don't want our videos to get too long. So I'm going to get right into this here. I'll start it with Friday. Uh, Ryan and I woke up early on Friday and actually drove to the next town over from us. There was a sale going on that had advertised some video games. And right when we got there, I recognized it as a sale that I've been to before. I think I picked up some Game Boy stuff from there last year. Uh, but yeah, we were like the first people there. Got some spy glasses footage. Again, I apologize for the quality of the footage. I'm still really getting used to where I have to wear the glasses to get everything in frame. So with that being said, uh, check it out. So as you could hopefully see anyway, um, their video game selection consisted of three Xbox 360 games, which I believe were like 10 10 and $20 each. So it was an obvious pass on those. The lady did tell me that uh, their kids have some older video games, but they will not let her sell them, which is actually the same response I got from her last year when I asked, if I recall correctly. So I don't know, maybe next year, I guess. But we did end up picking up these Halo 4 uh, figures, I guess is what I would call them. It says they're just um, die-cast metal figures, so I don't know, kind of cool. They were marked for $3 each, and I asked if I could get them both for 5 and she accepted that. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with them, but I thought they were kind of cool anyway. And then we also got this uh, Mario Kart 7, kind of like flip uh, pocket notebook thing here, for a quarter. So, <laughs> unfortunately no actual game pickups from that sale. But uh, while we were over in that town, we figured we might as well stop at some of the other sales in that area. And the next one we rolled up to was just the most obnoxious sale ever. I kind of felt bad for the people. There was this huge construction zone across the street, and you couldn't even hear yourself think at this sale. Uh, but we did end up picking up one thing, so I will show some spyglass footage real quick. Check it out. What? I mean, it's kind of tempting. At least, it's, at least it's new. So yeah, a Super Mario Bros. toothbrush. And uh, you may have heard me say it in the video, at least it was new. Obviously, if it wasn't brand new in the packaging, we wouldn't have bought it. But it was only a dollar, and I think Ryan said he wanted it, so we were like, whatever. Went ahead and picked that up. And that was actually all we found for Friday. We stopped at a couple more sales back in our town without any luck. So I'm going to jump ahead to Saturday now. And we woke up early on Saturday, drove across town to our first sale. I don't remember why we decided to go to this one first. They may have advertised some game stuff. Can't really remember. But uh, anyway, we got there at like 7.45. And the sale was scheduled to start at 8. So 99% of sales would have been open already. We start walking up there, and the lady's like, oh, you know, we're not open for another 15 minutes. And it just oh my God, it irritates me so bad when people do that. Like, I understand... If it's just like one person running the sale and they're still going in their house and bringing stuff out. Like, I get that. But when there's multiple people there running the sale and they have everything out and priced already, like, why would you say that? Why would you essentially say, oh, no, don't give me your money now. You know, if you want to come back in 15 minutes, feel free. So, anyway, I quickly asked if they had any video games they were selling. The lady said they were selling an Xbox and some games. So, we went to a couple more sales in that neighborhood to kill some time. Didn't find anything. And then roll back up to this sale. And I don't know if people just do this where I live or if this happens where you guys garage sale too. But when there's a sale like this that is, you know, waiting to open, people will literally stand at the end of this person's driveway and wait for the sale to open. It is 
it, it, ridiculous in my opinion. I don't know. I find it kind of comical, actually. I just think it would be so awkward standing at the end of somebody's driveway. I would much rather wait in my car, <laughs> which is what we did. And then as soon as we saw everyone start walking up there, we quickly hustled up there, and I got some footage, so check it out. Oh, it's right here. So it's got this, and then, and it works. He just tried it all last night. And okay. I've got two controllers, and then we'll... I knew it was going to happen. Were you uh, firm on the $40 there? I'll go 35 35 is Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it ended up being an original Xbox system here. Uh, it's got like a skull looking skin thing on it. I'm usually not a huge fan of these skins, but uh, this one's one of the cooler looking ones that I've seen anyway. So there's the system. And then it came with this like Charlie Brown knockoff looking bag here of some accessories and a small stack of games. So here was a uh, first party controller. It also had a wireless green Mad Cats controller. And then in this bag here was the receiver for the controller and the AC and AV cables. And then a small stack of games. Now, the entire lot was marked for $40. And if it hadn't been for one particular game in this stack, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But uh, anyway, yeah, we got Dance Dance, Revolution, Ultra Mix 4. Uh, all these games actually were complete and uh, in very, very nice shape. So that was another bonus as well. I'm not going to open all the cases. But uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars also uh, comes with Tetris Worlds. Uh, Platinum Hits, 007 Nightfire, Spongebob Squarepants, Battle for Bikini Bottom, Spongebob Squarepants Movie, and uh, actually this one here is the only one that didn't have, uh, actually just the case art, it's got the disc and the manual in there, uh, Blinks the Time Sweeper, we got a Platinum Hits Star Wars Battlefront, and then the winner of the bunch was a Star Wars Battlefront 2, and uh, complete, really, really nice shape on this one, I was very happy. Said if it hadn't been for this game, I probably would have passed on the lot. To be honest, I just I hate dealing with these original Xbox systems. They're so big and bulky. You know, you can't really ship them because they cost more than they're worth to ship. Probably so. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find something to do with that. Anyway, I said it was marked at forty dollars though. I asked the lady if she was firm on the price. Uh, she said she'd do it for thirty-five. So we went ahead and picked up that bundle for thirty-five dollars. And before we left. I quickly asked if she had any other older video games she was looking to sell, and she thought about it for a second and then told me that she had a Sega. And uh, she didn't say, she didn't know what kind of Sega it was or anything, but she saw, said she had seen it the previous day when she was getting stuff ready for the sale. And she said she didn't have time to go in and get it at that particular moment. She told us that we could come back later if we wanted, so I'll let you guys know uh, what that whole situation turned out like a little bit later in the video. But anyway, from there we moved on to our next sale. and. This was the disappointment of the weekend for sure. I got some footage. I'll let you guys check it out and then I'll kind of explain what actually happened. So here you go. Excuse me, I don't know if you had some like older electronics and stuff. You didn't happen to have any like older like video games or anything like that. If the guy comes back, that's what you're looking for. Oh, what? Well, the guy. You on hold for somebody there? All this stuff. He had to go to an ATM machine. Okay. You want to find? I'm not gonna. Touch anything? You mind if I just take a look at it real quick? Yeah, okay. Yeah, how much cash do you have? <laughs> you know, we had all this stuff right here. He's buying. He had to go to an ATM machine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there was this older lady running the sale, and we had asked her if she had any older video games. And she had a, a few boxes next to her, actually. And she lifted up these coats and stuff she had on one of the boxes, and there was just this big box of Intellivision stuff. Uh, like, box Intellivision games. There was like a couple like random PlayStation controllers and crap in there. But um, the whole box was marked for $5. And she explained to us that she had it on hold for somebody who had been there way earlier in the day, and had put all this stuff on hold and said he had to go to the ATM and get money. He was going to come back and buy it. And so part of me was like, you know, all right, well, I'm not even going to make an offer then. But then the other part of me was like, wait a minute. I was like, what is this guy? Just wake up like really early, get to these sales, like put all the good stuff on hold and then decide whether he wants to come back later and buy it. Like, no, screw that. I was like, it was a, the box was marked for $5. 
was like, if he gets up that early to come out garage selling and doesn't have five dollars in his pocket, like, no, screw that. So I was like, I was like, all right, I offered the lady, I was like, if I give you ten bucks for this right now, like, would you take it? And she's like, oh no, you know, I can't. It would be fair. And I was like, how about fifteen? And I was trying so hard to get this box of games. I knew Ryan wanted it because he's the Intellivision guy. And she's like, oh, no, I can't do it, sorry. And I probably could have offered her, you know, 30 bucks, and she wouldn't wouldn't have taken it. Um, so it was kind of disappointing that she wouldn't sell it to us. And uh, she said that uh, we could come back later and check to see if the guy had come back yet or not. And, you know, he had been there way earlier. So we were like, okay, well, maybe he's not even coming back. So we ended up stopping at that sale, like, again, like an hour later. And unfortunately, the guy had come back, like, right after we had left and picked up all the stuff. So I don't know. That was more disappointing for Ryan because I know he really wanted that stuff. But uh, whatever. We'll find him some more television stuff later in the year. So anyway, from there, we moved on to another sale. And actually, this is another prime example of how you have to ask at every sale if they have games. Because it's just like a younger lady, I think, and she had um, just like a bunch of little girls, like toys and stuff out. But we asked if she had any video games she was looking to sell, and she said she had a PlayStation. So she, she went into her house, and I'm kind of expecting her to walk out with a PlayStation 1. But um, after like five minutes, <laughs> she finally came back out, and uh, she had uh, a decent deal for us anyway. So I got some quick footage. I'll show it real quick, and then I'll, I'll show you guys what we picked up. Oh, okay. Do you have any games for it, or just the, the system? Okay, I'll check it out real quick. Here. <laughs> okay. Did you uh did you do it all for twenty? I'm just not a huge fan of the sports game, so oh. how about twenty five? Okay, yeah, we can do 25. So luckily, it was not a PS1 system, as I was kind of expecting it to be. It was actually a black PS2 Slim system. And uh, it came with, I think it came with four controllers. Yeah, we got one, two, and then three and four here. I'm assuming not all of them work. I think a couple of these, yeah, they got stuff rattling around in them. And some of these joysticks just get so disgusting, like when these get sticky. And this, I mean, this one's got like hair and crap all over it. I don't know, that's disgusting. But uh, anyway, yeah, it came with the uh, power cord and the uh, AV cord here. A GameStop brand multi-tap. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. And then finally a, a original memory card. And then it had a small stack of crap games with it. So I'll just go through these real quick. Uh, NCAA Football 2010. Uh, FIFA World Cup Germany 2006, NCAA Football 09, NHL 06. The only decent game in here, uh, of course, is the only one that doesn't have a case or manual. Uh, Red Faction 2. It's in like a, it's like a GameStop case or something. Uh, Guitar Hero 3 and MLB 08 the show. So, see nothing special on the games. I asked her how much she wanted for it. She said 30 bucks. I asked her if she'd do it for 20 because I was like, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the sports games. She said 25 and uh, I was a little bit hesitant, but I was like, you know, whatever, I'll go ahead and pick it up for 25 Obviously, the games really aren't worth anything at all, but um, the system for 25 I thought was a, an okay deal. Anyway, so moving on from there, another sale we stopped at. Actually, another prime example of um, how you have to ask for video games. And again, it was a sale that just had some, you know, little kids' clothing and toys and stuff, but um, I asked the lady there, if uh, she had any older video games she was looking to sell and she directed me over to her husband I think I got some footage of this sale I don't know how good it's gonna be but uh here you go you didn't happen to have any like older electronics or like older video games or anything like that that you were looking to sell do you? Um, I don't know. like older like Nintendo stuff or? uh... I have a Nintendo let me go look okay there were a couple of games that I had no interest in okay yeah the box I just put a new board in it to read the um, like a 16 pin. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, any, anything older that you're looking, at? any games or anything you're looking to sell, yeah. What? Just wrestling. 
Yeah. I don't think they're going to What would you be asking for these three? Three bucks. Three bucks? All right, we can do that. So when I asked the guy if he had any like older video games, you know, I mentioned we look for like Nintendo stuff and whatnot, and I think he was trying to explain to me that he had an NES that he had just recently replaced the pins on. I think he called it like a 16 pin or something like that. But anyway, he said he might have a few games, so he went into his house, he came out a couple minutes later with three NES games. Um, nothing too special, but uh, we got WCW Wrestling, King's Knight, and a boxed copy of NES Play Action Football. Um, the box is in okay shape. It doesn't have the manual. I might have an extra one, but I don't think I have this game boxed yet, so probably hang on to it. Um, and he said he only wanted a dollar a piece for him, so for three bucks for that stack, I figured, you know, yeah, sure. <laughs> Went ahead and picked those up. It just goes to show again that you gotta, you really do have to ask. Um, anyway, so back to that that sale with the Xbox, and I mentioned the lady said she had a Sega and stuff. Basically, what happened was we ended up going back there. Um, at the very end of our, our day garage sailing and she went in and she looked for it for like all of like five minutes and then came out and said she couldn't find it. She said she'd ask her son to, to look for it when he came home. Apparently he knew where it was. So she took down my number and actually I knew I knew the lady's daughter. Actually Ryan and I graduated with her so I, I kind of knew her already. And um, anyway I just left my number there not really expecting to get a, a call or anything like that. But later that day I got a call from the, the daughter and said they had found the Sega. So I was kind of asking for details. I was wondering what kind of Sega it was. Um, and it ended up being a Game Gear. And so she told me it was a Game Gear, like a few games and stuff. I had like some manuals and whatnot with it in a case. So I asked her how much she wanted. I really wasn't looking to, I, mean, I don't really need another Game Gear. But um, she said she only wanted 10 bucks for the whole thing. So actually the next day they were still having the sale and I went ahead and, and picked it up the next day. So it was kind of late by the time she got back to me. But um, I don't have any like spy glasses footage of this or whatever because it was the next day. But uh, here's the uh, Sega Game Gear here. Came in this big, big carrying case, so so much for a portable system, right? <laughs> you could put like an actual console in this bag, but uh, anyway, inside was set this up here a Sega Game Gear system. Um, she said it worked, and it does work. And I mean, the screen's in eh, it's got a few scratches on it, but the sound is is dead on it. Or it's very, very quiet. Anyway, that's a very common problem with these systems. But um, it came with uh, it had both battery covers and came with like six fresh AA batteries in it, so can't complain with that. And it had uh, a car charger. Oddly enough, it didn't. Ha I don't even know if this is gonna work in it. But um, it didn't have like a wall charger or anything. And then it had one, two, one, two, three, four, seven games with it. Uh, we got the majors, pro baseball, got Tasmania. Uh, Sonic 2, Slider, and then the last three here are WrestleMania, Steel Cage Challenge, Monster Truck Wars, I don't think I've ever owned that one before, and the last one here was WWF Raw. And then, let's see, I think there was manuals in here. I don't know if I already, I must have already taken them out. All the games came with the manuals and stuff. So, again, for 10 bucks, I figured, you know, not a great deal for a Game Gear, but um, whatever. Even even if it's uh, the system doesn't function fully, the sound is dead, like I said. But to get the games in the case and everything, I thought was okay for ten bucks or whatever. So anyway, I believe that is going to conclude our uh, our garage sale video. I. I Really hope I can continue to get some like spy glasses footage and stuff for you guys, and I hope that it, it gets better in quality. Again, I, I'm still getting used to like I, you literally have to exaggerate way more than you think you would to get the stuff in frame because the camera is a little bit above eye level. So I'm working on it. I promise next video should be better anyway. So thank you guys for sticking around and checking out this entire video. And until next time, take care.